think my first commentary for iFollow or Stags Player or Stags World before that was around about 2005. I'd have to check the exact date, but I think it was about 2005, my first game. So coming up for 20 years. Always been very interested in media, massive Stags fan, got an amber heart, studied at media after leaving school. Wrote for the Football Post, wrote for the Mansfield Town programme, wrote for the website. Um, asked by the football club to get involved in, with Mansfield 103.2 as a co-commentator. Really enjoyed it, got really, really good feedback and uh, been doing it ever since. I'd been asked by Mansfield 103.2 to do a commentary um, of an away game when they couldn't find anybody else um, for a game that was actually on Sky Sports down at, at Wickham Wanderers. I think that was based on the fact that um, I'd been involved in, in some of the history stuff around the club. And uh, then I had an opportunity to, um, to join some of the other commentators to do um, some of the home games as well, which uh, I absolutely loved. I think it's going to be a really tough game. Stockport, fair play to them. They've improved a hell of a lot. I'm delighted to see them back in the Football League. Big club, there's going to be nearly 10,000 people here today. So I remember the days when they were in the championship and I also remember when we were in the conference together. One thing I will say is very, very different to the last time we were here. The last time we were here, uh, and I commentated on the game here. It was 10 years and two months ago, uh, Mansfield's promotion winning season in the football conference. There was a crowd of just 2,600 here. We're expecting 9,000 today. 139 visiting fans from Mansfield. We're expecting more than 10 times that today. I think it shows, certainly shows how far Mansfield have come, but it also shows how far Stockport County have come. I'm looking forward to the game, I can't wait. We are underway then. Ball is back to Kieran Wallace, he knocks it forward, it's headed away by Sarsevich. Kilgore heads it forward, down to Ollie Clark, uh, and then Boating, but it's uh, picked up by Kyle Wooten, and then Akil Wright coming forward down the right-hand side for Stockport. Still going, uh, plays it down the line, gets the ball back, chance to cross the ball into the middle, and Alfie Kilgore uh, will knock it away, more or less into the Stags fans. Uh, the Stags fans, 1,400 of them today, uh, in two groups, one section behind the goal, uh, one section uh, down the side uh, from about the byline to level with the edge of the penalty area. Keel Wright, chance to cross the ball into the Stags area, towards Madden, who is it? Hits it into the net! A cross in from Keel Wright from the right-hand side, and Paddy Madden escaped from his marker, and he heads it past Christy Pym into the net. Half an hour gone at Edgley Park, and it's stopped for County one. Mansfield Town nil. Pym then with the free kick, straight down the middle towards Aikins. Aikins takes it down on his chest and finds Hewitt. Hewitt into the air on the right-hand side. Hewitt pulls it back. Oh, it's gone wide off a defender. How close so was close. that? Hewitt pulled it back across goal. It hit a defender and has rolled agonisingly wide of the post. Uh, corner taken quickly to Boateng. Boateng chips it towards the far post. Hewitt heads it back towards Harbottle. Harbottle wanted a free kick, but it's going to be a free kick for Stockport County, in fact. Wallace then buys a free kick, but the half-time whistle is gone. Half-time here at Edgeley Park. It is Stockport County 1, Mansfield Town 0. Waiting for our referee to get us underway here for the second half. We need a big half from Mansfield. Healer Dunn will take this corner for Mansfield from the left-hand side. Referee wants a word with a couple of players. Well, it's the best little sustained period of pressure that the Stags have had in this second half. Need to make it count. Corner for Mansfield from the left-hand side, which Keeler Dunn is going to take. Keeler Dunn's corner into the middle, headed away by Hussey. Wallace knocks it back out to Keeler Dunn. That's a good ball. Keeler Dunn on the left-hand side. Chips it into the middle. Oh, it's headed wide by Kilgore. It's a good ball in from Keeler Dunn. And uh, Kilgore flies at it with a header, and it's just wide of the left post. And we have five added on. Five minutes added on. Well, we need a bit of magic from anybody in an amber on blue shirt now. So five minutes added on. It's a, a free kick for Stockport on the halfway line. The Stags are trailing here by a goal to nil. Oh, this is a ridiculous challenge on Ollie Clark. Referee, how have you not seen that? Ridiculous that challenge. Disgraceful. It's a disgraceful challenge on Reese Oates, not seen by the referee. How can the referee possibly have missed that? That's an absolute...
absolute disgrace. Hewitt with the throw in, into the middle. It's headed away partially, but further away as far as Ollie Clark, who does well to find Hewitt. Hewitt chips the ball back into the middle. And it's headed into the net. Yeah, yeah, Lucas yeah. Aiken, yes! Lucas Aiken takes it into the net in front what of the Mansfield fans. And with three minutes of stoppage time gone, the Stags are level here at Edgley Park. It is Stockport County 1, Mansfield Town 1. The cross from the left hand side by Elliot Hewitt. And Lucas Aikens heads it into the back of the net. And the Stags have an equaliser. And there goes the full time whistle. It finishes at Edgley Park. Stockport County 1, Mansfield Town 1. An absolutely brilliant moment there in stoppage time with Lucas Aikens heading in in front of the 1,400 Stags fans. It's just brilliant to see it going in. Uh, it was a great cross from, from Elliot Hewitt with the outside of his right boot. I can't remember him doing that before, certainly not from the left-hand side. Normally, I just come down and uh, see the post-match interviews, perhaps have a little chat with Nigel Clough if, uh, if he's got anything to say. Uh, usually does, usually happy to chat to, to anybody. I think all in all, it's been a good day. I think Mansfield will be very relieved to get a point here. We really didn't want to lose this game. I think it's a good result, really, getting getting a draw here at Stockport. Mansfield have got uh, what, three home games coming up. They're massive games now, starting on Wednesday night against Grimsby. Hopefully the Mansfield fans will turn out in force for that. Grimsby, of course, are in great form. We'll see how they get on in the FA Cup tomorrow. Massive game for Mansfield. Mansfield need to pick up quite a lot of points in these home games coming up. <laughs> Both go to the same place. <laughs>